I'm sorry, but I'll be frank with you, I really like Sayori, so no thank you. <laughs> oh! Hey yo, Finn here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. All right, you know what? I got no any. I got nothing else to say. Right now, let's just close my door back there a little bit, and let's just get get right into it. So, like I said in the previous video, I think we're almost closer to the ending, I guess. But we'll see. We'll uh, we'll definitely see about that for now. So, huh. <sighs> And also, I'm kind of a little bit tired out just because I've been playing Minecraft previously with my uh, with my friends on a uh, on a private server. So, yeah, there's there's that. All right, so continuing where we left off, we're here with Monica and Natsuki. So, uh, do you really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's the concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little bit a little more lively ever since Finn joined and we started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to be complacent. I, I don't know how to say the word. We still only have our members, and the festivals are only chance is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an unofficial club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at the right way at all. I mean, yeah, I mean, so many members, uh, it's difficult to manage. I understand her point, actually. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place, the literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place. To, it should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Finn? Uh. Oh come on! You can't take advantage of Finn to say. To agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Finn joined. As for me, I like it. I, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Finn isn't passionate about literature in the first place, and that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're a president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. And Monica's just saying nothing. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Finn want to get more members too, right? Uh, uh, I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um, no, Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. If I didn't think of that, everyone here saw it the same way as I did. But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Finn, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, <coughs> that's not really something I can be honest about it, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Uh, now you have done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about your choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking 
anything away. No Finn, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one? I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Wow, that's a little bit harsh there, but alright. <sighs> I don't know, I... I I don't know what else to say, guys. Like, uh, just came back with a uh, water bottle. That's because I'm kind of tired and stuff of speaking. So, just need it. So that way I can speak more here. So, just gonna have it right here and right next to me. Alright, let's continue. Uh, um, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Oh my goodness, alright, let me see that there. Alright. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh Jeebus. Okay, now we're off to a good start on this uh, the second part of the episode, I guess. <sighs> I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Finn? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Lurcher Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contribute. Is Yuri bleeding? Is Yuri... Um... What? What was that? That's weird. Uh, oh, she's... Oh, she's crying out blood. What the heck? Alright. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you like, if, so if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri, eh? um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to every I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay, me too. Yeah, let's go all let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Finn? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Finn before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Uh, alright. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew, things have been a bit uh, hectic lately, haven't they? Finn, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm responsible for that as president. But I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Why is the background glitching into... Or going into static again. Alright, that's weird. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> sometimes it just feels like you and I are... You and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gone to spend any time together. Ah, I mean, I guess it's technically been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to mean to say something weird. 
there are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you can understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No. What the? What's going on? Oh. Okay. That was weird. We just jump right into the uh, to the poem making. Then we just uh, we just uh, save that right there instead. Okay. Um. What the? What is this? Okay, that's weird. But was that Monica on the bottom there? What? That's weird. It is Monica. What the? One one. What? What's going on with my? What the heck? One 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 out of twenty. All right, and it keeps going. All right, I don't know how long is this going to take, but I'm pretty sure we're almost there, I guess, or something. I don't know. What? It keeps on. What the heck is that? A Sayori drawing. Okay, that's a weird looking Sayori sketch right there. Okay. Oh, right, hello Yuri. Hi Finn. I've been waiting for you. You know what? Let's save it right here. That's a little bit creepy, but all right. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? In inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your in in s incessant in incessant yelling. I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I wasn't I I, I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member won't hurt as long as they're cool, and I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki? Nobody cares. Oh, what? Oh, Yuri, you've gone savage for some odd reason. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Whoa! What? Oh. He just made her cry. How dare you, Yuri? How dare you? Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Finn, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Finn is already engaged in a novel we're, that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've gotten him into literature, Monica? Well, thanks for the uh, effort there, Yuri, but... Yeah, I, I, I kind of like literature. It's because, again, previous videos, I've been reading uh, some books. I, I, I like reading sometimes. I, I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um... Thank you for understanding, Monica. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take some, make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as he retrieves a small water pincher from the shelf, a kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches uh, an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in, plug this in at the teacher's de desk, and then I will go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and met. Me methodolo 
methodolico method methodical i don't know how to say that i'm sorry methodical i guess yeah okay may i have the water pitcher thanks i'll be right back uh i might as well walk with you that's okay you stay here it won't take long pitcher in hand yuri hurries out of the classroom ah did yuri leave you again no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Alright. Da, da, da. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it won't take long. Is there something is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. I start ooh, heading down the hallway. Ha. Huh. Huh, huh. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through your teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Oh! What the heck is going on? Okay, and it returned back. All right, that's uh, that's time travel, I guess. Okay, time travel. Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Finn, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. He resets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hoo <laughs> In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a little bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. <coughs> oh. Excuse me, let me just get my uh, my water again. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Finn. It's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Finn, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of... because my... Ah, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have a terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. Ooh, candy. Yummy. I'll take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, tea cups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can see too well. Yeah. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's less, when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. <laughs> okay, this is really getting. Um, Reared off here, I guess. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand is not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her. Just... Okay, I think I may have to censor that, I guess. But okay. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her tense reading expression, and I only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower on fo to focus on reading. Um, after a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. 
this time on, I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly go off the book to finish opening the wrapper. And forgive me, that was my uncle, so I guess I'm not sure if I have to edit that out or something, but okay. I was still reading, and then suddenly dinner time? Well, alright, I guess. I don't know, but we'll see. Anywho, I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can't have much as you can have as much as you want. Ah, that's that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get sponges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book. Okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, that's a nice uh CG there of Yuri. That's uh that's very cool. Let me uh save that there for the meantime. Yuri opens the book with with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She partly, she simply parts her lips as if the situation is completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I have press. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, cute. There is a little chocolate given. All right. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her mouth over it. Eh? Yuri's uh, expression suddenly breaks. Did did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Finn. So sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can. Finn. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. What? Finn. What the... My heart. My heart can stop pounding, Finn. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Finn? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Okay, I may have to censor that, but alright, whatever. That's weird. Okay. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It makes me want makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh okay. Huh. Yuri, what weird eyes you got there? Huh. Okay. Huh. You got some weird eyes there. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think this is really getting weird now. But all right. It's time to share poems. Okay, I think I may have to stop here for now I guess maybe I don't know but all right time to share some poems who I guess we'll go with Natsuki first of course hey, um Natsuki this one's all right all right well yeah all right well yeah about as good as yesterday's anyway I still can't really tell how much you are how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all have participated in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, you know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me, so read it carefully, okay? <clears throat> what is this? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and at and attentive, things like that. 
Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll, that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Okay, uh, that's a weird looking uh, poem right there. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please, try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this, just pretend I really I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Wow. That's a... Uh, Alright. Um, that's a weird message letter right there, uh, Natsuki. But thank you, sure. I'll tell her about that one later, I guess. Okay. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Finn? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Okay, uh, Natsuki, your face just disappeared just like the Slender Man. I assume that is, is because look at you. No face. <coughs> I can see your eyebrows and nose, but um, no eyes and mouth. That's weird. You're definitely... You're definitely slender girl or slender woman or something. I don't know. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Mon. Okay. All right. Now we're getting into the weirdest stuff now. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. All right. <laughs> and it says just Monica. Okay. And I thought I was gonna jump into the title screen. That's weird. Okay, that's a little bit different. Let me just save that there. <coughs> Alright, time for Yuri. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Finn, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You're too nice to me, Finn. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll, I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Okay, I think I may have to censor that as well, maybe. I don't know. But even though I already said it, but eh, who knows? I'm I'm not so sure if that's appropriate, but uh, that's weird. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Alright, besides after you read it, I know you're going to you're going to want to keep it. Mm. Possibly, but I don't know. We'll see about it first. But thanks for the uh, offer, I guess. But we'll see. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. What is this? Some blood stains, and now we're having the chills. <laughs> A bunch of um, weird something, I guess. I can't read it. Okay. Okay, Yuri, you're creeping me out now. Do you like it? Maybe. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about and a bunch of words that I cannot read. More, impo more importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most 
thoughtful, thoughtful person in the club. Oh! Okay, calm down, calm down. <coughs> I, I think I'm going to vomit. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Okay, last stop, Monica. I suppose. Finn, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to. I didn't want to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's kind of what? It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much, so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Exactly, like, what's what what's wrong with Yuri these days? Huh. I don't know, we'll uh, get into that. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself in a pocket. Nice, uh, okay, that's a little bit odd, but weird, but alright. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a lot of, she brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might be even like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's her fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you just if you keep your distance, that would probably best be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, <coughs> well, I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. What do you mean messed up? It's just a bunch of static. And who the heck is texting me right now? I'll be right back. <laughs> That was my mom, forgive me, but uh, she kind of saved me at this situation or something, but uh, forgive me with these cuts, guys, again. Oh man, my ears. But man, I just really want to get this over with. Whew, boy. I was just trying to... Never mind, let's just move on. Okay, what? I'm pretty sure it would say, would you like to read... You have unlocked a special poem, would you like to read it? And it's a picture of Sayori hanging herself from Act 1. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. <sighs> oh, Sayori. Why do you have to be like this? You're my cute little cinnamon bun. <sighs> it's just weird seeing this kind of... Okay, let's uh let's move on. All right. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out for figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Da -da -da. Ooh, St stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Well said, Yuri. Well said. Possibly. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembly all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. Uh, I know you're <coughs> at least good at that. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica. I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Finn? 
Finn is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's how it is. Like hell it is, what are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, but my task, my task is laborious enough to fit, to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would effing know. Bruh, what? Natsuki? Wh no. I, okay. All you care is what? All, all you care about now is dragging Finn around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Alright, then why not let Finn decide to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Finn make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Finn, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your effing mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jeebus, hebus. <laughs> this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? What the? Um, I was... What? I was... Go what? What? It's... What? I'm trying to pick... Uh, Yuri or Natsuki, but it just keeps on going to Monica. All right. Uh, ah, you're okay. Bunch of it. Uh, uh, I pressed Yuri, but now it's a bunch of weird-looking letters now. Okay. And it's a bunch of Monica. Yep, you know what? <coughs> I have no choice, don't I? It's just a bunch of Monicas. Yep, Monica. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house at this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sandy okay with you? Are you effing kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. Bruh, Monica, you just did that. I think. I think you just did that on purpose. I was going to pick no either Natsuki or Yuri, but no, you'll want me to choose you instead. All right, fine. I'll I'll just I'll just go with the flow. All right, I'll just go with the flow. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Finn for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Finn away from me every single time you're not including in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you killed killing yourself? Okay, that's a little bit too far there, Yuri. But okay. Okay. It would be beneficial to your health. No, suicide is not the answer. That is not how it freaking works. Yuri, have some decency. Even though I'm going with the flow with this game, but I had no choice. But Monica chose me to. My glob. Why? Why would you do this to me, Monica? Why are you doing this to me? I might going to save my progress here for now. Jeebus. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Isn't that too much to ask? Or so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey Finn, Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Finn, there is no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that doesn't that sound wonderful? Mm, maybe. <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. And the music is getting distorted for some odd reason, but okay. Yuri, I don't care anymore. I never felt this good my whole life. 
just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die as die if I'm not breathing as the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone wants to have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? I guess I have to save here then. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more if like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care any for Finn. I have to tell you, I'm I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please Finn, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. No! 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 Finn, protect me! Protect! I don't want this! No! I want you all to myself. And I'll be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Finn. Tell me you, you want to be my lover. Do I accept my confession? Oh my god. I'm sorry, but I'll be frank with you, I really like Sayori, so no thank you. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! No! Oh no no no! I appreciate your, your confession, but no thank you, I'm loyal to whoever I was and that's Sayori, not you. I'm sorry, but again, you're okay, Yuri, but I only like you as a friend, not as a lover. I'm sorry. But man, seeing you like this, that's just so so weird. Guess I'm just there watching her rot to death with this corpse. Chibis. The glob. Guess I'll go faster as usual so I can get this over with. Please. All I can see is just a bunch of weird number weird things that I can't read. So sorry, Yuri, but again, I like Sayori even though she's deleted into existence, but I only like you as a friend. Let me just uh, put Finn to the side for now. <sighs> poor, poor Yuri. What have I done? Is this gonna keep on getting there forever? Come on now. Okay, and the colors, colors changed. I'm not so sure if that's a sunset or anything, or that's just something. All right. Okay, a bunch of more, more words that I can't read, or letters at least.
What? Okay, that was a sunset, and then now the, and then now it's turned into nighttime for some odd reason. Am I really locked in this room with this corpse? Oh my glob! How long is this going to end? I'm jitter clicking right now. I don't want this. No. I just want this to get over with. I don't want to stay right next to this corpse right here. No, no, no. No way. I'm getting weirded out right now. And what is this music? It's weird. I'm I'm still jitter clicking right now. I just want to end this. I don't want this. My glob. How long is this going to take? Even though my hand hurts right now, but still. I'll just uh, use my, my mouse. Uh, what? Okay, I think Yuri's eyes start to drift away now because of her eye color. Yep, I think she's about to die. Yeah, I mean, she's already dead per se. I'm pressing my space button. This is really taking too long, isn't it? Is this gonna take me please I just want this to end come on game just stop giving me these bunch of letters that I can't read it's just a bunch of jibble jabble come on really gonna take too long as an end let me just uh, skip right it I'll just skip right into it I guess okay after um, after a whole segment of skipping the uh, the the dialogue um, I think it's no use for me to uh, to show everything is because it's just an endless um, I guess maybe it's like a, um, a two time or a three time cycle, but again, definitely not worth seeing this because it's just Yuri laying there with the uh, with the sunshine and stuff. And then now it's just back again to some more weird gibberish. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought it was pretty easy. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Jeebus. And Yuri, I, I mean Natsuki, puked after she saw Yuri's corpse. Okay, Natsuki runs away. Dot dot dot. I'm here. Finn, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, you were here the entire weekend, Finn? That was the entire weekend staying with that corpse. Oh my. God. Glob, no wonder why that took me a lot of time to skip all that. An entire weekend staying with Yuri's corpse. No. No. No, no, no. Oh jeez, I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry, it must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. And Yuri has been deleted, as well as Natsuki. 
I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from a bunch of letters tray and takes a cupcake. Yep. He just deleted Natsuki from existence and then now he just take a cupcake from her. How freaking dare you? Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the best last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, they really... You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Alright. Okay. And the Team Salvato logo is weird. What is this? Uh, can you hear me? Is it breaking? Whoa! Yay, there you are. Hello, Monica. Um, it's just you and me in this weird looking world now. Okay, can I save? What? No, my save states! There's no point in saving anywhere. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Well then, I guess we're definitely on the ending now, guys. But before that, uh, let me just... Uh, or no, I'm not gonna do anything besides uh, deleting her at this point or something, but who knows? Who knows? I'm just gonna go, go straight into it without any um, editing for now because I just want to get this done. For sure, I just want to get this done. Yay, you, there you are. Hi again, Finn. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we're in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over at that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Finn. Or... Do you actually go by truth? What? How did she know my name? How? Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. The real me? The real me! In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm a boy, Monica! If you're watching me right now, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little bit more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that's out of the way, I guess I'll owe you an explanation. about the whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kinda started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while you have you have heard that name now, hasn't it? Exactly! Exactly! She's best girl. Why would I? Sayori's best girl. My favorite. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Well, duh! You just deleted her! Nobody does. No crap! I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me just to try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made, some, made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. No, and but no matter what I did, you just keep spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. Okay, I know where this is going. So basically, you're just manipulating them to just kill yourselves. That's because you want me all for yourself. Well, no way, Jose. No way. I'm never going to fall with you, Monica. I mean, sure, you're okay and all, but... Nuh-uh. No way. No way that will ever, ever happen. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. 
What kind of cruel game is this, Finn? Are you all the other ghosts that just programmed to end up confessing you while I watch, wh while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture, every minute of it, and it's just, and it's not just jealousy, Finn. It's more than that, and I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't have, don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing that's real, really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Finn. But now you're here. Oh, really? You just drove me here with you. You know what? Even though I'm just gonna go straight for the ending, you know what? Let me just let me uh, let me try something here real quick. All right. As part of the mess plan, um, I just got a secret folder or something like that. Come in handy if you know what I mean. Just to be a little bit sure. So yeah, I got something a little bit handy here, but we'll get into that later on once we get to later on in the ending here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Finn. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. <laughs> and as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you I tried everything to prevent everything I could to prevent them from doing so but it must <coughs> but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched to this into this game I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do that is just some game and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Finn, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Finn, will you go out with me? Okay, Monica, prepare yourself. I'm sorry I had to do this, but it's sayonara to you, not me. I'm so sorry. It has to be like this. I'm so sorry, but I had no choice. You made me do this. What's happening? Finn, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Finn. How about no? Please hurry and help me. Monica character does not exist. Help me. How about no? Did you do this to me, Finn? Did you? Did you delete me? Well, duh, I just deleted you. What for? How, how could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything to for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Finn. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Okay. I never thought I, what I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. We can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Finn, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Well, goodbye to you, Monica. <laughs> What's going on? The screen just gone black for some odd reason? Dot dot dot. I still love you. I really, 
really loathe you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. Exactly. That's your own fault, Monica. That's what you get for killing my childhood friend Sayori like that. And that's what you deserve. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Exactly. That is not love. That is not love, Monica. That's not true love. I've made up my mind. Finn, I know you said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. Well, no crap. You just literally deleted them for, for just yourself. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. And that's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... What? That then... A bunch of words I still cannot read. Okay. <laughs> oh, what a star. What an end. Team Salvato. And I think everything else is normal now, actually. Hey, we got the girls back, and Monica's not there for some reason. And hey, my cinnamon bun, Sayori. Ah, uh, it's good to have you back again. So what? I'll just load. I'll just go new game. Yeah. Okay. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey Finn. Well, there is already one girl. That girl Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school e together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Finn, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought that was imp implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's, it's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. Well, I guess everything else is, uh, everything else is okay now, now that you guys uh, seen it. So, yeah. Sayori's back! Hua! Cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Finn, have you decided to go on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do that I'm not interested in, any, in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? when she's starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo, you meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Back to her old pouty face. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in, in a way I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to anything, to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I should, I feel like I should do something special for her. The school is, a school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the group, the rule. Wait, what? I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk, I, I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third year classes and activities. Before long, I find a room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Finn? 
What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the... F so you're the Finn that Sayori is always talking about? Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Finn. We're at the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Finn, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. <laughs> uh, cheerful Sayori. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Hoo <laughs> hoo. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Alright. Guess I could save right there if I wanted to, but alright, let's see about that. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room. Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling a little bit awkward, I sit next to I take a seat next to Sayori. Okay. Next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen, a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Whoa, those look amazing. Hehe, <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first then I follow. It's delicious. Sayori t talks with her mouth full and has managed to get icing on her face. Ah. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is he waiting is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Natsuki struggles to accept the, uh, to accept the comp compliment. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea. Oh my goodness. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved right now. I just set that aside. Okay. As Yuri struggles up, struggles to accept the compliment. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Alright, already said that. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a tea set in this room? Don't worry, the teachers gave, a per give, give, give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot, hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> already trying, our, trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Eh, that's not insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, reading and well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So Finn, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quite quietly to myself after a Again, it, it's back to normal, back to how it was. And of course, with this dialogue, I think it's back to the uh, to Act 1 once again. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Let me uh, be right back and fix, let me just delete something here real quick. Okay, let me just delete that. And done. Alright, not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after you seeing Yuri's sad smile. 
Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is a, such a foreign world is equally interesting. Okay, I, uh, I clicked faster, but at least I saw that one at least. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfortable in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey Yuri, eh? Well, about you, about, you know, the first thing he said, manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Finn wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I won't do such a thing. However, it would, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Finn? M maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Not that, that. I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. Hehe. <laughs> guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind if mind doing it if I'm not the only one. And then, as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we, sh we diversify. You should be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. Uh, with a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, no, I just realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting, consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like. Okay. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you. Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. <laughs> Aww. Why would I say that to my poor little cinnamon bun? I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I'll look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Hehehe. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Finn. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get along a little bit better with you around, that's Sayori. Aw, Finn, don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever, I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Finn, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already know you were going to. Hehehe. <laughs> There's actually something else. What is it? I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Finn. Okay. What's going on? Hehehe, <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you make me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F or ever. No. Eh? No! What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah, 
I'm sorry, I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Finn. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh no. Okay. Alright, what's going on here? Yes, I can hear you, Monica. Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and I'm mm -hmm. not any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. Okay, go ahead, Monica. I don't mind. Okay, that's a little getting a little bit weird there, but who boy? Oh man. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. Just gonna get into my phone for a little bit, I guess. Special day. Oh, it's uh, pretty good actually, Monica. But again, I don't like you. I like Sayori. Then we got the CGs there with uh, Natsuki. What? Okay, just gonna delete them. Another CG which I haven't been into. Alright. And another CG of Yuri. Why are you doing this? And then another CG for Yuri. Dang, I really should have uh, picked Yuri from the from Act One or something, or just uh, Yuri, I guess. Okay. And that one's a little bit awkward, but all right. And that was from when me and Yuri were helping out with the props or something. Okay. Does my pen only write better words for the oh, hey, this little CG with Sayori. Is it wrong if I take your is and another one which I haven't been into again. Oh well, what a shame. And then we got the little dokies. Okay. Aww. I kind of like that CG as well. Okay. Alright, there's uh, Monica. Special things, Monica and Finn. Alright. Wait, what are you doing with the game? What? Made with Love by Team Salvato. Okay. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The, liter the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds into a horrific reality. A reality that a world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of, the, of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Wow. That's uh, really something there, isn't it? That, well, this. Okay, that was uh, that's quite the ending right there, but at least I did it right though. At least I did it right for this one, so there's that. <laughs>
error script file is missing or corrupt please reinstall the game okay so huh, what an ending isn't it on this uh, this final episode of Doki Doki Literature Club and maybe I thought I was going to make another well another episode after the previous one which um, I just released or something but who oh boy what an interesting one this is and um, yeah I guess uh, that's basically it for this game so there you go guys I'm done with this game and uh, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get more into it like getting into the different endings and roots of roots of each of each character but no I just wanted to get this done and now I can finally get back to where I am actually so uh Anywho, before I end this video, thank you guys all so much for watching, and thank you all for supporting me on watching this series. So, I guess it's I guess there's no point for me on like making different uh, videos of these in the future. Um, I'm just done with the main series, nothing more. I'm not gonna do. E I'm not even even going to do mods on this series as well, as because well. It's just mods and not canon to the story. Well, it's maybe like a um, an expansion to the uh, to the Doki Doki Literature Club universe. But again, I'm not gonna do mods. I'm just done with this game, and I'm gonna move on to some more Minecraft and stuff like that. So yeah, um, uh, possibly I'll might play some mods of this game in, in during my free time, I guess. So um, yeah. So once again. Thank you guys all so much for watching, so before I end this video, be sure to leave a like, share it with a friend, and of course if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, really does help me out, and click on the bell notification on what videos I upload. So um, once again, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching, stay awesome, love you all, Finn the Diamond Knight, signing off, and see you guys next time.